All right, now I have already posted a first impression video about the Galaxy Fit 3 yesterday and there were so many questions you guys had about this watch and I thought why not make a quick video and answer all your questions. Now the first question is, does this watch work with the iPhones? Does it get connected with the iPhone? The answer is no, it doesn't get connected with the iPhones. Uh, there is no plugin for the iPhones uh, for Galaxy Fit 3. So if you have an iPhone, do not buy this watch. It is not going to work, at least for now. Maybe in the future, Samsung will add an application on the plugin for uh, iPhones for this watch to work. Next question is, does it work with the non-Samsung phone? Yes, it does work with the non-Samsung phones. I got a Pixel phone, I tried it and uh, the watch is getting connected on the Pixel phone and I'm sure many other Android phone will also get connected to this watch. I not tested on the other brands, I have only tested on the Pixel. It is recognizing uh, the watch. Let me just pull out the Pixel 7 Pro that I have here. As you can see, this is a wearable application. Uh, uh, the first image is of Galaxy Watch, then we have got Galaxy Buds and the third image Image, it is showing Galaxy Fit and when I tap on continue it is identifying the Fit 3 here you can see the model number Galaxy Fit 3 and uh, th uh, the code is 2299 now this is uh, available here I can tap on this to connect the watch for now it's saying uh, to connect this phone you need to reset your uh, band first which will delete all the data uh, because I have connected this watch with the uh, uh, Galaxy phone the Galaxy S24 Ultra I'm not able to connect it here however uh, once I reset the watch I will be able to connect it on this pixel phone and uh, I'm guessing that all the other Android phones also should work provided Samsung has updated the wearable application for uh, the non-Samsung phone. Next question is can we take calls and messages on this watch? Now this only shows the notifications on the left hand side here. We cannot make or take calls on this watch. We will be able to receive the messages. Uh, the message notification will pop up on the watch and uh, we can also reply to the message with some short texts which are already available on uh, this device. When I get a call or message you will get notified the watch will vibrate letting you know that you have got a notification. Next question is does WhatsApp work on this watch? No it doesn't work you don't get any notifications from WhatsApp uh, on this device only on the Galaxy watches you have got WhatsApp application a standalone application is uh, made available on the Wear OS on Galaxy watches but this is not based on the Wear OS uh, so there is no WhatsApp on this. The next question is can we connect Galaxy Buds or any other Buds on this watch? Uh, again the answer is no you cannot connect a bud but you can control uh, the media on the phone or any other devices that you have connected the watch to you see now when i play a song on the phone uh, you get this notification here that the music is being played at the bottom. I can tap on this and I can control uh, this song here. I can uh, go to the next song or I can go to the previous song or I can mute the device or I can increase or decrease the volume here. That's all we can do. Next question is which are the applications that we get on this watch? Now we do have some default applications on this. Let me just uh, scroll this up and show you the applications. We've got Samsung Health, Media Controller, Find My Phone, Weather, Calendar, Timer, Alarm, Stopwatch, World Clock, Calculator, Camera Remote. You can control the uh, camera on your phone using this camera remote application. Then we have got settings. These are the applications that we get and that's about it. And you guys have also been asking me whether uh, there is a Play Store or any other uh, store from which you can add the applications. The answer is no, we cannot install any additional applications on this. Uh, whatever is available, we'll be able to use them and we cannot add any application. The next question is how many watch faces do we get on on this device and how do they work now uh, we've got about 100 watch faces on the watch which are fantastic and each watch face designs come with uh, different color options as well let me just quickly show you the uh, options that we get on the watch if you do not want to see all these watch faces you can just uh, fast forward the video
we also have another watch face uh, which enables us to add a photo from the gallery and it shows the basic time information and date information at the bottom i've already discussed this in my previous video the next question is can we store any sort of media on the watch no we cannot store uh, we just have about 256 mb of data and the memory is just about 16 mb so this is not like a samsung galaxy smartwatch this is just a fitness band with the least memory possible now the next question is can we turn off bluetooth on the watch no we cannot turn off bluetooth on the watch we do not have that option but on the phone we can turn off or disconnect this watch from the phone that is something we can do and this leads to another question can we record steps or can we record any health related activities on the watch independently without being connected to the phone or uh, when the bluetooth is turned off the answer is yes, we can do that. The watch will uh, independently record your steps uh, and uh, can track activities without being connected to the phone. Next question is, how is the battery life on this watch? Now I just used this watch for about two days and what I've noticed is uh, every day I'm losing about 15% plus battery life. I have turned off the always on display and I've set all the health related measurements like heart rate measurements, uh, SpO2, etc. Uh, to manual. There is no continuous health centric feature recording on the watch and I'm losing about 15% uh, plus uh, per day so I'm assuming that uh, the battery life would be about uh, five to six days on this watch even though Samsung claims 13 days of battery life which is tested in their lab but I'll be doing a complete review about the battery life on this watch so stay tuned for that I will share the uh, battery test results very soon and another point I'd like to mention that this screen is very beautiful uh, this is an AMOLED screen with high pixel density uh, the uh, text and images are crystal clear on this uh, display so maybe because of that the battery consumption is higher on the watch but anyways i will be sharing the results very soon the next question is does the watch get strava connectivity no strava is not uh, available for this watch next do we have uh, the custom straps for this device uh, the strap mechanism is quite different for this device so uh, only samsung straps are available currently on their website uh, third party straps are not available currently uh, of, for the watch so as you can see here we have got this button uh, by pressing which we can uh, detach this band and i can just press this into the frame to attach it so this is definitely a proprietary band that we have on uh, this device so uh, for now at least uh, this is available only on samsung website uh, no third party uh, bands are currently available if i'm not wrong now the next question is does this camera controller application or camera remote work with any android phone now, samsung says camera remote is available only on the galaxy fit 3 paired with galaxy smartphones running one ui 6.0 or above and it requires photo mode in the pre-installed galaxy Galaxy camera application on the Galaxy smartphones. Camera remote zoom feature is currently not available on Galaxy Fit 3 as of February 2024, which means we do not have zoom in and zoom out uh, feature on uh, this camera remote. Uh, and this is available on all those devices which are currently running on One UI 6.0 and above. The next question is important. Uh, this is about the GPS. Uh, you guys are asking whether there is GPS on this watch. The answer is no, there is no GPS. It has to be paired with the phone. And uh, with phone's GPS, the activities can be tracked. The next question is, how does this watch look on the wrist? Is it small? Is it big? How is it? Uh, so that's another question you guys have been asking me. Now this is a tiny 1.6 inches uh, diagonally measured screen and it is smaller than the Galaxy watches, uh, the Galaxy Watch Classic or the regular Galaxy watches. And it looks fine on a lean wrist. My wrist is just about a 15 or 16 centimeter wrist and uh, it looks uh, pretty okay. Uh, but since I've been wearing the Galaxy watches, uh, it, it looks pretty small to me and anybody looking at my wrist for the first time I might not feel the same way uh, however uh, definitely the watch is small uh, this is a fitness band of course so this will be small and light uh, and because of which you will be able to wear this uh, uh, the 24 bar 7 and you can wear this during the night also for sleep tracking so that is a very important point you should consider if you're buying this particular band so this is more of a fitness band than a smart watch so this will definitely be smaller and it is meant to be smaller for the purpose it is being used next question is do we have Samsung pay on the watch Watch. no we do not have samsung pay because there is no uh, uh, there's no play store or there is no galaxy store for this device only the default applications will work the samsung pay is available on the samsung galaxy smartwatches next one of the viewers asked me uh, can this be used without a phone for a kit to track the fitness uh, yes of course like i mentioned earlier uh, we can use this watch independently even if uh, the phone is not connected it will definitely track the steps and a few other activities on the watch next what is the processor being used on this device now samsung officially has not revealed the processor on this device 
but uh, given the task, this processor is quite quick. The only thing we need is snappier response and fluidity uh, when we use this watch. The UI should respond quickly and there should not be any lag and this particular chip inside this device is perfectly doing its job without any issues. Next question is can we install third party fitness applications on the device? Like I said, there is no uh, store for this uh, particular device. We cannot install any applications from any of the stores. These are some of the important questions you guys have asked me in my previous video. If you have missed my previous video, do go ahead and check out the video. I have discussed uh, some of the initial impressions about this watch. Don't miss that video. I'll link it up in the description. And if you have any more additional questions, do drop them in the comment section. I will try to answer as many questions as possible and even the community can help you get some answers. Uh, that's all I want to share with you guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button and become a part of Apex community to know your Samsung Galaxy watches, fitness bands and Galaxy phones better. You will get to know a lot about your devices that you're using and I'll help you guys use these devices to its fullest potential. So be sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you find this informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.